Well, hey guys, I wanted to welcome you back to the Midweek Devotional and um, wanted to talk to you about this idea that Jesus is greater than my sins, which is understandably a huge, broad conversation that I probably, in fact, I know I can't fully bridge in one short devotional. I don't think I could even do it in a sermon series. It's, it's such a big, t- heavy topic, but I'm going to, to try to give you one reason why Jesus is greater than my sins. So, um, and your sins, thankfully. Hebrews chapter 5, Hebrews 5, um, the, verse 1. For every high priest taking from among men is ordained for men in things pertaining to God, that he may offer both gifts and sacrifices for sin, who can have compassion on the ignorant and on them that are out of the way, for he that himself also For that he himself also is compassed with infirmity. Um, So the idea here is that high priests in the the Old Testament days were given this um, role of being a high priest by people. And the people would appoint them. Often there was controversy about who was allowed to be a high priest or why. And they would have, um, in the Old Testament, we find high priests who were evil. And we find some high priests that were just downright terrible. And um, then we find some good high priests. And we find priests that are appointed by bad people. And and there's all of this going on. And um, the idea in Hebrews 5 is, is reminding us that high priests are people who are appointed by people. However... God uh, appointed, God the Father appointed Jesus, God the Son, to be our high priest on earth. And so he is a better high priest than all of the other high priests because no matter how good of a high priest you were, you eventually would pass away or you would retire or quit your job. Um, And then there would be somebody else and then there would be somebody else and there would be this continual thing. Uh, What's fascinating about the verse is that the passage it says that they have can have compassion on the ignorant and them that are out of the way. Now, nothing I think better sums up you and I than that verse. We are often ignorant of our sins, and often we are going the wrong way in life. Um, there are times when we do things out of ignorance. There are times when we do things out of um, a willful desire to go the wrong way. But there's also times when, even when we're attempting to do right, we're doing wrong. But the priest was there to help those who were ignorant and those who were out of the way. He would make sacrifices for their sins. The problem is, he could only do this during his time as high priest. And he would have to make a new sacrifice every year for sins. And this was a brutal, bloody, messy job. And some poor animal would have to die yearly for the sins of the people. But in Hebrews 7, verse 22, it says, By so much was Jesus made a surety of a better testament. In other words, Jesus' blood sealed the better testament. And that testament is salvation, not by sacrifice, salvation by his sacrifice. So he, the high priest, laid down his life and made himself a sacrifice for us who were ignorant and out of the way. And they truly were many priests, this is verse 23, because they were not suffered to continue by reason of death. But this man... Because he continues ever has an unchangeable priesthood. Wherefore, he is able to save them to the uttermost that come unto God by him, seeing he ever lives to make intercession for them. For such an high priest became us, who is holy, harmless, undefiled, separate from sinners, and made higher than the heavens. Jesus, our high priest, willingly sacrificed himself and now he ever lives to make intercessions for us he ever lives 
to make sacrifices for us, or he ever lives to, to remind the Father of the sacrifice that he made. So he sits in heaven and intercedes on behalf of us to God the Father and says, hey, yes, I know, but do you remember that I paid the price? It was my blood that saved that person, even though they're ignorant and they're out of the way and they're going the wrong way or they're completely lost, my blood paid for that. And so when God looks at us, he doesn't see us, he doesn't see our sins, he sees the blood of Jesus Christ. When God the Father sees you and I, his children, he sees the blood of Jesus, not our sins. And this is why he is greater than our sins.